We are back in the biological samples platform, where research associates Clint Chalk and Kara Fisher are getting ready to isolate DNA from the lung cancer samples that we have been following. I'm Kara Fisher. I'm a research associate too at the biological samples platform at the Broad Institute. I've been working here for approximately one year and I carry out many of the DNA and RNA isolations from tissue in the platform. Each sample will be carefully tracked as it moves through the lab and transforms from solid tissue into pure DNA. Clint and Kara heat the samples on dry ice to keep the DNA from breaking down. They cut tiny pieces of tissue and weigh each one. Clint adds metal beads to each tube. He then puts them into the tissue lyser, which shakes the samples vigorously. Clint adds a substance called proteinase K, which will chew up the protein in the tube and incubates the samples overnight. After the samples are lysed, they're removed from the incubator. And inside of the tube, there is a clear homogenate. This can also often be brown or yellowed, sometimes even red, dependent upon the tissue that's been used. Kara is washing the samples, adding chemicals that will help flush out any material that is not DNA. She mixes the samples thoroughly, and then she puts them on the centrifuge. The centrifuge spins and gravity pulls down any contaminants in the tube. Kara discards the unneeded material. After washing, it's time to elute the DNA. In these steps, the DNA is caught in the tube below. This is the final result of Clint and Kara's efforts a clear, colorless liquid containing DNA. Next week, Clint and Kara's colleagues will run quality control to see just how much DNA has been isolated.